Good afternoon. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Graham Ware. I am an expert in search engine optimization. I have a very big background in business process engineering, process improvement, operations, as well as Big Four Consulting. I wanted to speak to all of you today because I am involving myself with uh, a lot of different businesses and executives and business owners. There's a common theme and question that I'm asked over and over again. Uh, essentially, what is it or what are the things I could do to help get my presence of my business up on the top of Google and all the major search engines? And what are the major changes coming in 2013? Uh, obviously, there are many changes that uh, continue to happen within the uh, search engine world. Uh, algorithms are continuing to be expanded upon, and things that uh, they, those algorithms are tasked with or targeting are, are continuing to evolve, uh, really to shift away from some of the black hat techniques, the companies out there that do things in order to manipulate or get around some of the algorithms to help bolster their rankings or their clients' rankings. Uh, so I thought I'd talk to you about uh, really five uh, of the key things going into 2013 that your business really should be focused on uh, with respect to search engine optimization and what some of these algorithms are really, uh, how they're uh, shifting and evolving and, and what impacts those will have against uh, your website presently. I think the first thing that we can talk about, and this is in no particular order, is the shift between uh, how blogs are actually being written and, and published. Uh, the olden days, and by olden days I mean three months and beyond uh, ago, uh, there was the publisher rank. Uh, publisher rank would really look at uh, how many blogs were out there, the links, uh, and things of that nature. It really didn't scale though or identify the fact that you might have a high authority ranking blogger who uh, might have a journalism type background or have written for major media publications. Uh, and they're out there and they're hired by various companies and entities to write, you know, good content for their, for their blogs. In doing so, really, uh, they now have created a multiple topics. They might be writing about political things one minute and then writing about pizza restaurants the next. So Google's really shifting the emphasis and the focus of how blogs are actually written and conduct conducted. And in doing that, they've actually registered a patent last year uh, for authorship, or what they call author ranking. And that's really going to be predicated and based on uh, several variables and factors, but the top three uh, really that focus on, on author ranking really come down to topics, making sure that the topics that the blogger uh, that is writing uh, on are actually relevant and consistent. Uh, and with that, there's actually, a, uh, for those of us who are experts in the industry uh, should know, and hopefully the companies and those that you rely on who are doing this for you uh, actually know the verification process. There's an actual blog verification process now in place that will tie your website to the blogs that are being written. So a little bit more of a, an authority uh, or an authoritative approach on that uh, as well as an authentication. Uh, so making sure the topics are relevant and the authentication is actually verified uh, obviously, the topics as uh, the topics are being written and the blogs are being written, really the effort in the essence is to identify those blogs as being written by people who are experts in your industry, uh, you know, not people who just have popularity because they're writing a million different blogs for a million different industries. Uh, so the expertise and the topics and the relevancy of all that coming together, uh, as well as the linking back to particular pages within your site, really should have a positive effect in bolstering the ranking of your actual blog itself as well as the blogger tied to your website. But uh, it also drives the popularity of your website pages. If they're writing on particular uh, topics or industries or services that you offer and linking those out and people are actually following those links, that's going to play into obviously the overall popularity of not only the blogger but your website which helps complement your SEO. Uh, kind of the, uh, the third entity of that, again, is kind of the links, making sure the links are relevant, um, making sure that you're not link farming. A lot of uh, us in the industry, we've heard about the second wave of Google uh, Penguin coming out, which is basically an algorithm tasked at attacking sites who are uh, linking out to uh, various spam uh, type uh, uh, websites, fish, phishing, and uh, just a lot of 
uh, irrelevant backlinks. Uh, and you know, I have several clients, uh, one that I just did, uh, where he had 1,900 backlinks, uh, many of which were unbeknownst to him. Uh, if you are utilizing companies, make sure that they have the tools and the know-how with how to go in and remove those links out of the Google equation uh, so that it doesn't hurt your ranking overall and that the health of your website is maintained. Uh, kind of the second real thing to uh, look at going into 2013 as a business owner is the geocentric focus. You know, there is a lot of different coding techniques that are now being implemented and expanded upon within your website. You know, uh, so uh, geocentric capabilities is far, um, far better and easier to identify uh, and base results um, around the location of a person, whether it be their mobile device, the tablet, or even their home computer. Uh, search engines now have easier visibility into those faucets to be able to actually display results that are relevant uh, and location-based. So in essence, that will impact websites because kind of the old way of doing it was you might have one particular keyword that is a service or product or an industry that you're in, but you have 36 cities around it, so that one keyword now becomes 37 keywords. Uh, which then led to keyword stuffing and so on and so forth. So a lot of that is slowly starting to tighten up and uh, the geocentric focus is actually going to be expanded uh, in many, many ways. And there are, as I said, a lot of different um, functional things that you can do within the website and coding in order to help kind of meet uh, that and make it easier for the bots to identify. Uh, the third thing, really, Matt Cutts, who's the, the Google wizard, if you will, last month spoke at the SMX conference, and uh, not verbatim, but he essentially said that if you have not looked at your website from a mobile or a tablet, and uh, you don't know how long it takes to download or view, uh, you're probably going to be in trouble heading into 2013. So you want to make sure your website is mobile friendly, it pulls up uh, in various tablets and uh, on various devices. And not only that, but the speed in which that actually occurs, making sure that that is actually appropriate as well. Because if it's slow, uh, you know that's going to affect your bounce rate. It's also going to in turn affect your overall SEO ranking. The fourth one being uh, social media. Social media, uh, social media rankings is a term being thrown out there. Identifying popularity, uh, shares, likes, comments, engagement, how people are actually utilizing your business social media pages. Uh, there's kind of a talk about uh, an indirect war on RSS. A lot of companies will come to you and sell you the, the convenience factor of doing everything for you, but often you look and you see that it's RSS uh, fed. What that means is basically when I update my blog, it also hits my Twitter and my Facebook, but your audience who is following all three of those is valuable. And in order to retain them, you're going to want to make unique posts. Uh, and there's going to be a fine balance to that. Not to say that RSS is going by uh, completely, but there's going to be a, a much bigger balance and a shift in that. Uh, lastly, I think the, the major thing that you want to look at too, it's always been around, is the on-page optimization, on-site optimization. You know, before, as I said, a lot of SEO was based on backlinks and traffic, and there's a lot of different manipulative tactics that uh, some companies unfortunately chose to use, uh, but that scale has shifted and I think now uh, really looking at on-site optimization, making sure that obviously keywords and metadata are still going to be a factor, but making sure that it's balanced and that it's uh, appropriate uh, throughout each page in your website. So really that, those are the five things, just to kind of recap, you know, the, how you're doing the blogs, uh, the geocentric focus, making sure you have a mobile friendly uh, website, having social media engagement, making sure that your management of that is uh, appropriate, and then obviously the on-site continued optimization. Uh, those are really the five key things as a business owner I would recommend to you heading into 2013. Uh, certainly look forward to working with all of you. If any of you have uh, any questions or if anything I can be of assistance to, certainly feel free to contact me. Otherwise, I certainly appreciate your time. Thank you so much.